Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Alright, this week's update is uh, pretty interesting in my opinion. Now, unfortunately, there's still no new Awakened Jushun or whatever going on, which is really, really sad. Uh, they have been delaying it for so long, which is kind of fishy at this point. Is Awakened Jushun going to be the next Nayubin? Maybe. Alright, just a myth in C server. But regardless, let's talk about what's the updates that we're having this week. First things first, we're going to have Asterosa Rearm. Now this is something that personally uh, I am most looking forward to and I believe a lot of players have been looking forward to. Asterosa Rearm is something that I think most players should try to get. Very easy uh, obtainable unit right there. Very very strong meta unit especially. Uh, we're going to have the part 2 of the current event going on. So if you guys are not aware right now in the event, we can only do uh, this particular part which is the, the first act. Now second act is still locked as you can see, so hopefully we're going to access that and we'll be able to farm. I think we might use this different uh, currency, maybe there's a new shop as well, we'll see. Okay, so alongside with that, we're going to have Chloe's Info Search, Anastasia Supply Maintenance, Tuning Binaries, okay, very cool. And for Awakened Rerun Banner, okay, specifically just Ministra, but Replacer King is a new banner. We're going to talk about Replacer King a little bit because I think a lot of free-to-play players might not know what he's actually capable of and might have the impression that Replacer King is bad and trust me, he's not. Okay, so a few other things. Yansing, Nael, Xiaolin will have a new banner, rerun banner. So if you really want Yansing, uh, I think it's pretty cool because Asterosa is here. Yansing sort of counters Asterosa in a way, uh, but you, Yansing is not the only uh, counter, right? There's a lot of counters as long as buff remove is there. Uh, Sigma Anastasia is there for Operator. A bunch of uh, wedding skins rerun, which is Sigma, Xiaolin, Mia, KT Wait, Rosaria, Veronica, all very cool skins if you guys want to pick it up, definitely. Uh, added Assorted Enhancement Module Package, uh, added a bunch of other packages, and New Season in Danger Close. Alright, alright. So, let's talk a little bit about uh, Asterosa Rearm. What do you need to know about Asterosa Rearm in general? So by far, Asterosa Rearm is going to be the best Rearm for a lot of players. Now why is that? Because a lot of Rearm, for example Tower Xiaolin, alright? She's good in PvP, but she's not really used in PvE. Now Asterosa Rearm is going to be probably one of the better Rearm that we're gonna have because if you invest in her, you're gonna be able to use her in both PvP and PvE. She's very very strong in both contents. She's one of the most flexible units by far. Uh, if you have been struggling in the dive stages, and I know a lot of you guys are still haven't completed it, especially if you have been struggling there. I think for a lot of players, the dive 48 to 50 is still the toughest content in the game, right? A lot of uh, free-to-play players couldn't do it. Uh, even some paying players couldn't do it. Like it, is re it requires skill, it requires a lot of effort. Uh, because if you use like the Veronica cheese strat, maybe you might not be fast enough or something along those lines. But with Asterosa Rearm, it's going to make your life a lot easier. She will be able to do more damage than Veronica. She will be able to tank longer than Veronica as long as you have her skills max. So definitely consider getting Asterosa Rearm. I do think that every player should try to get her. Like she's just that good. Alright, so you're going to need to tackle these contents eventually. Even if you have beaten this before, like, I see no reason why not to get her because it's going to make your life a lot easier in case you need to beat them again in the future. And we don't know if in the future they're going to have harder dives. But yes, Asterosa Rearm, I would highly recommend every player to have her. She is that strong. Now, a quick recap to those uh, maybe miss out on what she does in terms of the skills. If In case you guys are, you know, trying to skill her up, the priority should always be the leader skill first. Alright, if you go to the leader skill, this is where she gets the immortality. Alright, 6 seconds. Immortality, but if you level her up up to a level 5, you will get 7 seconds and 8 seconds. So this is what makes her stronger in general. Now in my opinion, the second priority after the leader skill should be her special skill because it allows her to inflict true damage without her barrier. If you guys are not aware, Asterosa, when she has her barrier surrounding her, she will deal true damage. But when you skill this up to level 10, she will deal true damage regardless. Alright, so that's why you don't need to give her uh, DPS gears. She still works with HP gears, she does a lot of damage because of her true damage. Now the ultimate skill resets her existing barrier HP upon casting. I would place this at a later priority because to get her ultimate skill 
you know, a cooldown is 55 seconds, you might not be able to cast this as much as your special skill, uh, depending on how long the battle lasts. So in my opinion, leader skill first, followed by special skill, followed by ultimate skill, and then followed by the passive and basic skill. Alright, so let's talk about the other two Awakened Banner. Now, Replacer King and Ministra. Now this is going to be a little bit of a tough one. A lot of players are going to think that Replacer King is weak, and trust me, he's not. He is by far the most broken character in the game, period. Alright, there's no character that can beat Replacer King and do what he does. Replacer King is just so strong. Like, he's just an insane monster. He just makes everything easier. Now, I have been holding back for the longest time ever, and I haven't used Replacer King in any of my guides because I know he's not accessible to free-to-play players yet. The banner that's going to appear tomorrow is going to be the first time that most free-to-play players will be able to obtain Replacer King. If you guys are not aware, he was in a counter pass previously, right? So, now that Replacer King is here, I will be able to make guys and hopefully I hope you guys pull for Replacer King because he just makes your life so easy, man. He makes everybody's life so easy. If you don't have Replacer King, definitely pull for him. But what about Ministra, right? Ministra, I think, is something that it's going to depend on your account more than anything else. Because uh, Ministra, yes, she's strong. I'm not saying that she's weak. It's just that there's a lot of things in PvE, like I'm looking at the context from PvE standpoint of view, a lot of things that in PvE, Ministra can sort of be replaced by, let's say, ASY or ALSY, even in Danger Close. But Replacer King, is hard to replace him, alright? He just makes everything a breeze. He just put everything in easy mood like if you pull for him so i would definitely highly recommend if you can pick one go for replacer king now i know ministra is something that a lot of players might have missed as well but like i say i feel like she's much easier to replace compared to replacer king in a lot of situations so that's going to be how it is unfortunately uh, if you don't have enough tickets to pull for both definitely you can only choose one yes you'll have to go for you'll have to decide for yourself i do think that Again, I want to stress this out. A lot of players seem to think that Replacer King is a tank. He's not a tank. I've been saying this like a billion times every time people come to my live stream. I do stream on this channel every now and then, but people coming into the live stream and be like, yo, uh, are you using like HP set or defense set on Replacer King? Like, dude, a lot of players actually don't know Replacer King is a damage dealer and he just like, try and read his skills. All right? I'll just forward you guys the video that I have talked about his skills before. Because a lot of people seem to think that he's used as a tank, he's a defender, but by no means you use him as a defender, alright? So hopefully we clear that up in this video. So yeah, um, damage dealer that can have unlimited valid hits is just so broken. Unless in the future, I doubt he's one of the few characters that will ever get power crap. I highly doubt so because the ability to hit everyone is just insane, alright? Unlimited valid hit and unless there's like a new defender that comes out that have unlimited valid hits that will counter him, so yeah, I doubt that he will ever fall off the meta. It's just so hard to power creep like a monster like him. So definitely, hopefully that concludes um, everything you need to know for this week's patch. Let me know if you guys are pulling. Are you guys pulling for Replacer King? Are you guys building Asterosa Rearm? As always, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.